Hello, <laughs> I am Jennifer Hale, and I am your host for this event that you're watching right now. We are live from the main theater at PAX South in San Antonio, Texas, and we are about to unveil something that has not only been trending on Reddit, but has set the internet ablaze for days, and that something is Guild Wars 2, Heart of Thorns. Now, in just a few moments, we will be sharing a copious amount of detail about exactly what that means. But first, we thought it would be fun to engage in some random speculation. Let's see over here. So, you guys, what do you think we are waiting for right now? Like, what do you think Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns is exactly? An expansion. <gasps> the biggest expansion ever. We have one theory. How about you? Tell me about your sign. Uh, my sign is a commander tag, obviously, and I have a <laughs> blue one and a yellow one. <laughs> I am ready to lead the Zerg on the hype train, you guys. Woo! Yeah. Woo! How about you guys? Oh, yeah, this is going to be awesome. This Are you ready? Update. Yeah, yeah. What, yeah, you think it's a content <laughs> update? All right, all right. How about you? What do you think Heart of Thorns is? Uh, PVE that's not going to be terrible. Okay, okay, okay. You know, let's get some expert opinions about this. Let's toss this over to our shoutcasters. Whoa, we are at PAX South. For Guild Wars 2, Heart of Thorns and pre-show. It's looking pretty good out this there. This is insane. Yeah. Unbelievable. Crowd is excited. They are on fire. We are excited. I think I think we're probably more excited than anyone, even though there's so many <laughs> so many people here. It's just absolutely <laughs> awesome and epic. It's just gonna be so good. And I think I don't think I've ever said awesome as much as I've said it in the last couple of days. <laughs> but yeah. We are so excited. That has been here. a good yeah. word to describe all of yeah, this. Yeah, I think I think it's the best word. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a special guest over here. Hi, Ruby. Ruby. Hi, guys. I am super, super, super excited. I imagine you probably are, too. This is, I am, s excited is the word. I cannot <laughs> hear myself think, and it is like the greatest thing ever. So we're going to talk for just a second about Guild Wars 2 live streaming, because you guys have a vested interest in this now. We do. Um, if you kind of. do not already watch it, points of interest, we have two Guild Wars 2 live streams that we do regularly. Points of interest is the Living World PvE side. We air that every other Friday at noon Pacific. Uh, the next one is next Friday, and I cannot tell you anything about what it's going to be. You're going to have to watch. You'll find out pretty soon. Um, Points of Interest has gotten a lot more exciting recently. It's gotten a lot more awesome because Richie and Aurora are bookending Points of Interest now. Richie, you're going to be live streaming for a half an hour beforehand. Yep. And then Aurora's going to come back and judge us, analyze everything you say. 
<laughs> this is not intimidating in the least. It's a tiny nice. bit, tiny bit intimidating. <laughs> um, so I also want to mention that Points of Interest is a sister show. This is the greatest thing ever. I am so excited. Woo! Okay, so Woo! Points of Interest is a sister show to Ready Up, which is our competitive show, which is more your guys' venue. I'm not very good at this stuff yet. <laughs> um, this is our we'll competitive show. This is all things PvP, World vs. World, Balance Development, our World Tournament Series, everything competitive on the competitive side of Guild Wars 2. Uh, Josh Davis will come in there and talk about that every other week. He's on opposite Friday, same time, same channel. So, and you guys will probably be able to talk about that a little bit more. But right now, I think you probably have some other things you want to talk yes, about. We maybe. Do. Why not? I don't know. Are you, is, what's going on? Anything? Uh, Oh, well, you know, sugar. in about <laughs> 25 minutes, uh, there's going to be yeah. an announcement. And um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty sure it's an expansion. Oh, oh sure. expansion. The e that, I will see myself out. <laughs> Bye, Thank Ruby. you, guys. I Bye, will Ruby. see you after the show. Bye. Have a wonderful time. <laughs> <laughs> see you soon. So, so. when we talk about expansion, what are we actually looking for? When you think of other games and you think of Guild Wars 2, what, what is it going to be? I mean, you know, Arena, De Arena Net do it completely different. Right. You know, if, yeah. if, it's, if it's an expansion, what can we expect? What are we actually thinking is actually going to happen? I think we can be pretty sure that something like a box expansion you just buy at a store and uh, yeah, ju just have a slice of content that you get at one time and then nothing for the next year, that is not going to happen. No. ArenaNet has always been on the forefront of doing things differently, yeah. being a bit daring about what they are going to do. Yeah. As the crowd <laughs> is going wild. Yes, they want the expansion, <laughs> but they want it done just a little bit different, the arena net way. Yeah. I think we can exactly. count on that. Yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, it's going to be it's going to be a new, exactly, the arena net way. It's like a slogan, isn't it? It's like something <laughs> we should always think about when we do things. It's like, but what, what main features are we looking for? Like, personally, like, speculating, I mean... Yeah, we don't know anything. Just yeah, so we know nothing. Yeah. We, are, we know as much as you guys know, <laughs> so... We had, we had the rehearsal the other night, and right when they started to spoil stuff, they lured us away with pizza, and we were, <laughs> yeah. and we were, like, we were like idiots. We're like zombies, pizza. Yeah. So, and, so <laughs> we know nothing. Anything we say right now is This is complete speculation. Yes. Yeah. So on we the are PVE professional guesses. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Best <laughs> guesses, yeah. So on the PvE side, in terms of, like, story, pay Tree, Mordromoff, a new zone. What can we what what can we expect? Do you think we're gonna go to a new zone? Do you think we're gonna have many new zones? Is it gonna be in the game itself and changing zones? Is that right. I, I think new zones are pretty much guaranteed. We know that uh, we're chasing Mordromoth. Um, we had that trailer and at the end Bram said we're taking the fight to Mordromoth. So yeah. I think we have to go deeper into the Maguma jungle. Yeah. Cool. And uh, so hopefully we'll get new zones there. Um, what we're going to find there as far as uh, we saw the Mordrum vines coming up and attacking the packed airships. So yeah. are we going to find uh, wreckage of the packed airships possibly? Okay. Um, and Destiny's Edge as well. Do you think they, yeah. they survived? The um, people on those airships? I think uh, if, uh, if they were going to... Um, off a bunch of characters that we have uh, have been near and dear to us for a long time. I, I don't think we could true. Uh, be satisfied with a simple cutscene. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I think at least Air is still alive because you, you she just was so cool on the, on the show. <laughs> well, okay, this, this <laughs> is just cool. going straight up now. No, I'm st I'm still shooting with my bow. <laughs> it's going down. Plus she has her bow drawn. <laughs> Plus she's a Norn, and you can't kill a Norn with just a 500 foot yeah. drop. I mean, no. she's going to change into some that's creature. Just, you know. That's silly. <laughs> We also have uh, we have Ritlock to yeah. think of. Yeah, what is what that? Yeah. Is he? Uh, he obviously uh, has come back, telling us that we cannot trust any of the Silvari now. Yep. The Silvari are confirmed minions of Mordramoth. Mm. So we have some Silvari turning, but the big thing is, the Silvari are a playable race. Yeah. What is this going to yes. mean for our player characters? Maybe it's the first <laughs> expansion for an MMO ever to have an unplayable race. <laughs> yeah, those, exactly. Everyone has got a Silvari. Yeah. Make your, loses make your their Silvari character. now. <laughs> well, see, we've been talking about. We were talking about um, some fun things, like you said. Like it could be an unplayable thing. Maybe you know, it's, it's not something we're saying we think is going to happen. But you know, speculation of what's going to happen in the community. Is it going to be? You know, is the Silvari? You, you're just not going to be able to play as them anymore, I mean, like you said. Right. Take them away. <laughs> <laughs> or it you can, you know, there's going to be. A second uh, faction, sorry. No. That would be a pretty drastic change. I mean, we, we, we <laughs> had some uproar on the forums, on yeah. Reddit, uh, thinking about that kind of stuff and what would be the consequences mm. of it. Yeah. I think it, it is a funny idea to, to think about really a Guild Wars 2 with factions, yeah. where, where you kind of 
take the idea of world versus world out in the open and into the PvP er uh, PvE area. Right. Uh, would that introduce dueling that between be players? Oh. <laughs> open world dueling? <laughs> yeah. Open world dueling. And then I, I kind of think if there's anything going on into that direction, we're going to have one race, maybe mm. a new one. New races are always a thing with, uh, with expansions. Indeed. Yes. Sure. Uh, always a possibility. Maybe they uh, join up with the Savari. <gasps> yeah. Mm. Just to, to have someone on their side as well, not which just the plant guys. Not the plant which, guys. Uh, <laughs> which, which race though? I mean, it, this is going pretty quickly. We're going to be going over quite soon to Jennifer actually just yeah. as we are. This has actually been going a lot longer than thought it would. But just in terms of uh, we're talking about races, new weapons maybe, yeah. new SPVP maps, maybe new World v World maps. Right. Generally new everything of what yeah. we want to, we, we have not got enough time to talk about what we would like, what we can speculate, yeah. how we think it's going to come in. But it's just so exciting. What, <laughs> the stuff yeah. that what, can come. What, what's your number one thing that you want? I want new SPVP maps and new yeah. World v World maps for the, for the World v World guys. Yeah. It's, it's going to be, I think that's coming. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What about Everything? you, Nick? Uh, yeah, SPVP maps is a big thing for me as, as a PvP player and I, I think just in general a, a lot of features, uh, there, there have been mentions of a lot of features that have just maybe been mentioned once mm -hmm. uh, for, by ArenaNet and we haven't seen them anymore, which is also, again, just a brilliant point, just bring them in, in an expansion. Mm -hmm. That is just the perfect opportunity to bring in mm -hmm. all these features that people wanted for years yet now. Right. Yeah. We are actually going to be going back to Jennifer. Uh, we're, we're pretty close here at Pack South so excited. to get the announcement. What's going on? We've got Colin and Co. going to be telling us many, 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 many awesome things. We are going to find out so soon. I'm so excited. Stay tuned, guys. You're obviously going to stay tuned. Man. Don't go now. I mean, <laughs> look can't at the crowd. Now. This is awesome. We're excited. Thank you very much. We will see you soon. today and a huge thank you to anyone who woke up at the butt crack of dawn to wait in line <laughs> it is so cool to see so many people in here I mean if I had to do a quick count I would say that I think I just saw number 1152 just walk in the door Wow 1500 people fit in this theater I feel like 1500s worth some boom sticking don't you Yes! Yes! What's even crazier is that there are currently tens of thousands of fans watching this theater live around the globe, broadcasting everywhere via Char the Magic of the Interwebs. <laughs> In theater audience, meet the internet. Internet, allow me to introduce you to the fans here in San Antonio! <laughs> I am sure you will get along just fine. Alright, save it, save it, save it. We gotta save it for later. My name is Jennifer Hale. <laughs> and while my face may not be that familiar to many of you, 
Some of you might recognize my voice just a teeny, teeny bit. <clears throat> I am Jenna, Queen of Crita, Regent of Ascalon, crusher of the Ogre Revolt. <laughs> I have proudly been the voice of Queen Jenna since Guild Wars 2 launched in 2012. And time flies because it's 2015 and some changes are afoot. Since Serena Net asked me to play host for this lovely event, I have been receiving some very cryptically worded emails using the code name HOT. First, I thought it was spam. I mean, all these emails with the subject line HOT. <laughs> but alas, we all know what HOT stands for now. Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns! <laughs> what is it? What is it, you may ask? I'm not telling you, but we do have some very, very special guests here who will spill the beans in just a few minutes. And when those special guests do arrive, I expect all of you to greet them with the mighty roar of a boomstick orchestra. Now, we should probably rehearse that a couple of times, don't you think? Let's hear it. That's all right. You can do better. Come on, come on, come on! Let's hear it! Woo! That was very impressive. That was very impressive. Now that you know your responsibilities for the morning, sit back, relax, and take a few moments to soak in the ambiance. Ready those boomsticks, but no noise yet. We need silence for dramatic effect. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a loud, out of control, and absolutely ape shit welcome to the president and founder of ArenaNet, Mike O'Brien! <laughs> Hello! 
Hello, well, thank you, everyone. Thank you, and thank you, Jennifer, our Queen Jenna. Yeah. We have such an exciting day today. Before we're done here, I hope that we will have made this a memorable day, not only for Guild Wars 2 fans, but for fans of MMOs everywhere. That's because today, I can finally tell you what we've been working on and where we're taking Guild Wars 2 next. Yeah. yeah. All right. You know how much is going on in the game, right? So, the Hub City Lion's Arch, it still lies in ruins. And thanks to our old friend Scarlet and her experiments with magical ley line energy, the elder dragon Mordramoth has awakened. Yes. Mordramoth, Mordramoth has already corrupted much of the Silvari race. And it just destroyed the packed fleet containing many of the heroes of Destiny's Edge. Mordramoth's power is growing. Its corruption is spreading. But we know where we can find the dragon. Deep in the heart of the Maguma jungle. And that's where we're going next. Yeah. <laughs> Eleven days ago, at the cliffhanger ending for the season finale, Point of No Return, we hit you with a mysterious trailer and with the words, Heart of Thorns. And since then, you've been guessing. What does it all mean? What does it all mean? It's been a fun 11 days. All right, well, you know what? I think a lot of you nailed it. But the moment of truth is here. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's the moment of truth. Do you want to see for yourselves what Heart of Thorns means? It's time I give you Heart of Thorns. The journey of the hero is filled with trials. Trials of courage. Trials of loss. Trials of war. Each forging the hero in the fires of resolve, wisdom, and strength, propelling them into the unknown. This journey never ends. The hero's journey is to become legend.
Ladies and gentlemen, what you just saw was the world premiere of the first expansion pack for Guild Wars 2. That's right, we're here today to talk about an expansion pack. And before we're done on this stage, we will tell you about every major feature in that expansion pack. <laughs> uh, you know, a lot of you have been on this journey with us for a while. Maybe since the launch of Guild Wars 2. Maybe before that. Yeah. Maybe going back to the Manifesto video from 2010, where we laid down the core values that we would build Guild Wars 2 on. And I want to go back there today as we talk about why it's so important that Heart of Thorns is the first expansion pack for Guild Wars 2. Now, I said to you back then, right from the beginning, I said we would make Guild Wars 2 the first truly dynamic living world, a world where you and your friends experience huge world-changing events as they happen all around you, rather than just reading about them from quest givers. Yes. Now, we built that into the base game, and then we amped it up through 40 Living World releases since then. And do you think we took everything we knew about building huge, world-changing events and took it to the next level for Heart of Thorns? You better believe it, because the Maguma Jungle is the most detailed and dynamic environment we've ever created. All right, yes. I also said to you, right from the beginning, that we would make Guild Wars 2 the first truly social online world. A world where you, your friends, everyone around it, you're all in it together, working together, relying on each other, where you're always happy to see another player. Now, something magical happened. You, the Guild Wars 2 community, you took that one and you made it your own. Yes, and in the two years since the launch of Guild Wars 2, you have cemented your reputation as the single friendliest community in all of online gaming. Yes. Give yourselves a hand. You know something else we said from the beginning? We said that Guild Wars 2 would be the game where the journey is the reward. A game about the journey, and not another one of these endless gear treadmills. Now here we are, announcing the first expansion pack for Guild Wars 2. And I know when people announce an MMO expansion pack, they talk about what's the new tier of gear that we're introducing into the game. But you know what that does, right? That invalidates all the work that you put into your existing characters. That ramps up the power curve, leaving behind a wasteland of old content that's no longer challenging enough or rewarding enough to be worth playing. And is that what you want from Heart of Thorns? No! I thought you might say that. <laughs> all right. But let's talk about levels, because we're here announcing an expansion pack for an MMO. And it is very normal when announcing an expansion pack for an MMO to talk about what is the new level cap in this expansion. But you know, it's really not that different, right? Your existing investment in your gear, it is level 80 gear, right? And do you want us to say to you, now it's time to go earn some new level of gear, and again, ramp up the power curve, leaving behind all that old content that's no longer challenging enough or rewarding enough to be worth playing. Is that what you want? No! You're an audience that knows what you want. <laughs> all right, then I will commit to you, your max level characters with your top tier gear today are still going to be your max level characters with your top tier gear tomorrow. Uh, 
Ah, the endless gear treadmill. It is such a cheap solution to a problem. But it is a solution. And I'll tell you what I do think that we owe you. I think you need new challenges that are way beyond anything that you've ever faced in Guild Wars 2 before. What do you think about that? Yeah. Yeah. And how about not just the ultimate challenge, but the ultimate group challenge? Is that what you want? Yeah. I'll tell you something else. I think you need real character progression that you can keep using to evolve your characters long after your max level and long after you have the best gear in the game. What do you think? Yes. Guild Wars 2's endgame character progression. Well, now you understand why we had to go build this expansion pack. This is what Heart of Thorns is all about. Deeper challenge and deeper progression. So, let's start with this. We built a comprehensive new progression system. Masteries. Masteries. All right. Now, this is conceptually simple. You're entering the jungle, and while you're there, you will master the skills and abilities that you need to succeed in the jungle. I'll give you an example. The jungle. The jungle is a hugely vertical environment. It's not like anything you have ever seen or dealt with in a game before. And you need to learn the abilities that you need to traverse an environment like that. And having done that, You'll get in there, you'll meet the allied races of the jungle, you'll train with them, you'll meet new creatures, new monsters with new abilities beyond anything you've had to deal with before, and you will master the skills and abilities you need to dispatch them. The jungle, it's a world unto itself. And the longer you're in the jungle, the more you will master the skills of the jungle. So that's where we start. Then, we can take masteries and build on top of that new group challenges, way beyond anything you've faced before, challenges that you would never be able to complete if you hadn't learned these new skills and abilities. But let's not stop there today. We're going to take that, and we're going to layer on new profession specializations. Yes. You and your friends can customize your existing professions in ways that you never could before. Let's keep going. Let's, let's layer on new guild support and new guild progression to make this the ultimate group challenge. What you're going to see is that this all comes together. So it's not a collection of features. It is a comprehensive experience that is, again, all about deeper challenge and deeper progression than you've ever seen in Guild Wars 2 before. Yeah. I'll put it simply. Heart of Thorns is our new vision for character progression in Guild Wars 2. All right, in just a minute, Colin is going to come out on stage, and he's going to tell you about all these new systems in Heart of Thorns. Before I go, I want to take a moment and offer a deep, heartfelt thanks from all of us at ArenaNet to you, the Guild Wars 2 fans. We do this, we do this for you. You know, I always say, Guild Wars 2 is the game about the journey. Well, there is no one that I would rather be on, on this journey with than you, the Guild Wars 2 community. So thank you. Thank you. Now, 
Are you ready to go deeper into the heart of the Maguma jungle and learn about all the new systems in Heart of Thorns? Then please welcome the game director of Guild Wars 2, Colin Johansson. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the game director of Guild Wars 2, Heart of Thorns, Colin Johansson! for being here today, for waiting in line to come and be a part of this uh, really exciting day. Uh, thank you to everyone watching live on Twitch right now and joining us. Uh, I know some of you woke up early, some of you are still in your pajamas, some of you, you're getting ready for bed. We really appreciate you all coming to join us for this, uh, this really exciting day for Guild Wars 2. I've been waiting a long time to be able to walk up here on this stage and tell all of you, I'm about to tell you every major feature of our first expansion, Guild Wars 2, Heart of Thorns. But before I do that, uh, let's take a minute and just recap how we got to this point here today. So over the course of 40 Living World episodes, we've watched the living world of Tyria evolve and change. We've discovered new lands and watched as some that we love were destroyed. And through it all, we've experienced a truly living storyline and environment where the story of our game continued to progress and build. And all of those episodes were building towards this moment here today. And the final episode of season two, we witnessed the Durban Priory, the Vigil, the Order of Whispers, and the five major allied races board the packed ships as the fleet took flight to head to the jungle to hunt down, kill, and destroy the elder dragon Modramoth and its minions. As the fleet entered the jungle, the jungle came to life and the Silvari race began to turn against them. They heard the call of Modramoth, and many of them joined with the dragon. And within a matter of minutes, the entire packed fleet was destroyed, torn out of the sky, and the remains of that fleet now rest across the top of the jungle. So all of us have lost our world's army. We've lost our great hope of destroying this elder dragon. And who's left? It's all of us here today in this room. It's all of you watching live on Twitch. Look around you. Someone sitting near you is probably going to be playing a dynamic event with you sometime soon. <laughs> all of you are going into the jungle. And with one step, we go into our very first feature, the Heart of Maguma, the new area that we will get to explore in Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns. Now, as Mo said earlier, the maps in the heart of Maguma are some of the richest, deepest content experiences that we have ever built in Guild Wars 2. The game space is tremendous, the amount of space that you can play in. And the jungle is made up of three distinct biomes. The core, the jungle floor itself, the roots of the jungle that run deep beneath the jungle itself, and the canopy high above, where the remains of the pack fleet are scattered across the top of the jungle. You're going to get to go and explore all of these areas, from the very depths to the very top of the jungle. And as you explore, you'll find a secret that the last known good dragon, Glint, left hidden in the jungle for us, right as the story of Guild Wars 1 concluded. And now, hundreds of years later, we will go into the jungle and find that secret, and find Glint's legacy. We're going to discover a lot of other things in the jungle as well. As Mo said, a big focus for us is developing really challenging content for you to overcome. So we're going to be developing new types of content experiences that you'll find in the jungle, new challenges for you, new challenges for you and your groups and for your guild. And as we build to the point of the launch of the expansion, we'll come back and tell you about each of those in a lot more detail. You're going to find new rewards and achievements, new types of content to experience, New creatures, new civilizations, all of this awaits you inside the heart of Maguma. 
Now, the heart of Maguma is built with the same core philosophy that we applied to all of the content that we built for Guild Wars 2 from the very beginning. When you see another player, the game should be more fun. Everyone can res. Dynamic events change the world for everyone. You don't have to read quest text to decide what you're going to go do. You play in our world and are immersed in it and play along with everyone else. We think that experience is fundamentally one of the things that sets Guild Wars 2 apart. Yes. And we are taking that to the next level inside the heart of Maguma to make that experience even richer and better. So when you see another player, the experience is that much cooler. And we know we can do that because we have you guys, the friendliest, most welcoming community in online gaming. So as we journey through the jungle, one of the things that we're going to need to do to overcome all these challenges that await us, to master the experience of the jungle, we're going to need new abilities. And so we come to our next feature, the mastery system. The mastery system is an account-based PVE progression system. As you progress through the jungle, it is available to every character that you have that is level 80. You will complete content and overcome challenges in the jungle that reward you with mastery points. What are some examples? As you complete elements of the story, you'll be rewarded with mastery points. As you reach hard to find and hard to reach locations, as you defeat incredible challenges and incredible group challenges, you will be rewarded with mastery points. As you complete exploring entire maps, you are rewarded with mastery points. As you complete challenging achievements that send you on great journeys across the jungle and beyond, you will be rewarded with mastery points. And you can spend these mastery points to purchase abilities that are available for every PvE character on your account. So you don't have to go through and progress every one of your characters over and over again. You do it once. This is all part of our no-grind philosophy for Guild Wars 2. So what kinds of things are the mastery system going to let you do? What can you master within the jungle? Well, our game offers a lot of deep, rich experiences and a lot of different things that players enjoy doing. So let's talk first about exploration. So picture for me a moment that's very common in Guild Wars 2 today. You're climbing to get to the highest point in a map. And in the jungle, that's a much higher point than you have ever been before. You're jumping, and you're climbing, and you're looking down, and every minute you're like, oh, I'm about to fall. No, no, you keep going. You get all the way to the very top, the top of the jungle, standing on the tip of the crashed, packed flagship. And what do we do in Guild Wars 2 when we get to the highest point in a map? <laughs> yes, we jump. <laughs> and what follows is an epic journey to meet the ground, followed by a splat. And thankfully, because we have the friendliest community in online gaming, usually a swarm of players run out of nowhere. <laughs> I have no idea where they come from. I'm sure you've all had that experience. <laughs> and suddenly, you're rezzed and brought back in the action, because in Guild Wars 2, everyone can res. Well, in Heart of Thorns, no more. When you jump from the highest point in the map, if you have spent mastery points, you will be able to master the ability to hang glide and leisurely fly. <laughs> As you spend more mastery points, you will get better at using your hang glider. You'll be able to ride gusts of wind across the map to reach hard to reach locations, to get higher up in the map, to find locations that you normally would never be able to get to. So hang gliding is an example of how the mastery system will allow you to master exploration within the jungle. Let's talk next about lore. Guild Wars 2 has an incredibly deep and rich lore and history, stretching back over a decade now. And we want to give people the opportunity to master the lore of the jungle itself. And so you'll be able to spend mastery points to learn to understand the languages of the civilizations deep within the jungle. And as you learn those languages, you're going to learn the history of those civilizations, the secrets of those civilizations, and you'll even gain access to hidden locations that those civilizations have buried away that only those who can speak and understand the language will be able to access. Yeah. 
And that's an example of how our mastery system will allow you to master the lore of Guild Wars 2. So let's talk next about combat. Combat is a key component of the Guild Wars experience. It's action-based, it's exciting, it's cooperative. Players can put down fields and combo fields that you can come up and take advantage of. And so we want to build on that system, and we want to provide real, meaningful challenges and abilities in our mastery system that allow you to overcome those. So as you progress through the jungle, you're going to encounter new creatures, new bosses, and new types of group content that you have never seen before. And you're going to need abilities to survive against those battles, against those bosses, against that content. The mastery system will allow you to learn abilities that help you survive against, overcome, and defeat the creatures within the jungle, growing your ability to fight in combat in Guild Wars 2. Now, I'm not going to give too many details on this today. Between now and the launch of the expansion, we'll come back and tell you a lot more about the different types of abilities you'll be able to gain in combat through the mastery system. But know that this is the way that we're going to provide meaningful progression to all of your characters for PvE past level 80 within the jungle itself, and you'll be able to master combat using the mastery system. Finally, another example of something that you'll be able to master with the mastery system, something I think a lot of you love today if you're a Guild Wars 2 fan, is collecting, crafting, and building. It's a big component of Guild Wars 2. And when I think of mastering, crafting, and collecting and building, I think Legendary Weapon is the ultimate version of, of crafting and collecting in Guild Wars 2. So there's one component to building a Legendary that is the hardest component to that experience. Can you guys tell me what you think that is? Pre Did you say precursor? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's it. Yes. OK. So uh, clearly, we need to do something about that. The mastery system will allow you to build out collections that send you on epic journeys across the world of Guild Wars 2, that once completed, will reward you with precursor weapons to set you on your journey to building your legendary. <laughs> I know some of you have been waiting a while to hear that one, so there you go. Uh, so on top of this, we're also going to be introducing brand new legendary weapons and brand new legendary precursors. All right, so the mastery system is a comprehensive PvE endgame progression system that builds on the pillars of Guild Wars 2. It builds on the no invalidating your hard work, on the no grind philosophy by being available to all your characters. And it complements the concept that the journey should be the goal in Guild Wars 2. As you progress through the system, the journey gets more fun instead of having to wait till you someday reach some mythical goal that everything becomes available to you. Instead, it's a system that constantly provides fun, excitement, and true meaningful progression. And you might be wondering, this system doesn't sound like it gives me skills or traits. What is Guild Wars 2 doing to give me those for my characters? Well, the answer to that question takes us to our next major feature of Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns, specializations. The specialization system will allow each profession to master a new specialization that grows that profession into something new, almost a secondary profession, if you will. So I could stop now and not tell you anything, and you guys could have to wait and find out. Or I could tell you one of them. What do you think? All right. OK. So as we go into the jungle, there is a rich druidic history within the jungle. And it is only fitting that rangers be able to learn and master the abilities of the druid within the jungle. And so, rangers will be able to grow themselves to become a druid. And when they do so, they will have available to them, they can use the staff weapon, which a ranger could never use before. Along with that, when a ranger becomes a druid, they will have access to a new heal skill, a new elite skill, a new set of utility skills, and most importantly, new profession mechanics that fundamentally change the way the ranger plays if they turn into a druid. 
So I'm going to tease you a little bit, because I really like to do that, with a part of one more specialization. You've all seen it before, if you've been following Living World Season 2, and you've been wondering, why does ArenaNet really like giving all these necromancers great swords? <laughs> and we have greatly enjoyed watching from a distance as you all debate why it is that they all get great swords and why Marjorie was learning how to use one. And the answer is, we've known the necromancer specialization will allow necromancers to make use of the great sword weapon. So between now and the launch of the expansion, we're going to come back and tell you about each specialization available to all the professions that we didn't tell you about here today. So you're going to have to wait and ride that journey out. But we really look forward to coming back and telling you about each of them between now and the expansion's launch. <laughs> we're also not going to talk about wind today either. You'll just have to wait and see when it's ready. Uh, so. <laughs> You've got your druid, and you might be thinking to yourself, I'd like to start a new character. It's time for me to start anew. Or you might be thinking, I've never played Guild Wars 2 before, and when this new expansion comes out, I want to be starting on equal footing with everybody else. I want to make a new character that no one else has had before as well. And so we sat down, and we talked about what is, what is the perfect thing that complements what we have today. And we have three light-armored professions, and we have three medium-armored professions. And there's only two heavy-armored professions. There... I feel like something's missing. There's a hole. There's a gap that needed to be filled. And so our next feature for Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns is our brand new profession, the Revenant. And you all have seen The Revenant before, whether you realized it or not. Not long ago, in Living World Season 2, Ritlock went into the mist, chasing after his incredibly powerful ancient magical sword. And since then, we've seen images of Ritlock appear wearing a blindfold, such as this, wearing a new set of armor we've never seen before. And we haven't heard back from him since. Well. When our expansion launches, Ritlock will be returning as the very first Revenant, and he will be bringing with him the abilities to channel and control the powers of the myths. In combat, the Revenant as a heavy armored profession will be able to use the powers of the mist to channel its abilities into its weapon, as well as into its utility, heal, and elite skills. Now, the Revenant does something a little bit different. The Revenant channels the power of great legends from Guild Wars Pass and uses those to help power the skills it has available to it. So let's talk about some examples. King Jalus Ironhammer, the great dwarf, is one of the legends that the Revenant will be able to channel. And when channeling King Jalus, the powers and abilities of the great dwarves of years past will become available to the Revenant to use in combat and change its skills. The demon Malix, buried at the heart of the Domain of Anguish, is available to the Revenant as a legend they can channel and power to control the power of conditions and use them in combat to defeat their enemies. These are just two examples of the legends that will be available to the Revenant. And between now and the release of the expansion, we will come back and tell you about each of the other legends and the abilities that come with them the Revenant will be able to channel to use to power its skills in combat. So you've got your Revenant. You're traveling through the jungle. You're gaining mastery points and building your characters. And you stop and think, I'm having a great time, but it's time for me to go kill another person. And please stick to just in the game. Uh, 
And luckily for you, Guild Wars 2 offers two fantastic PvP modes for you to do just that. So let's start first by talking about world versus world. <laughs> so for those of you who might not be familiar with world versus world, this is our epic large-scale PvP combat. This is hundreds of players fighting in giant battles for control of towers, castles, epic keep sieges with trebuchets and catapults firing, with armies running to gates to bash them down with battering rams, and entire hordes of siege golems marching to destroy keeps and take control of them. I guarantee you, if you have never seen this experience, you have to check it out. There's really nothing else like it. It is at an epic scale of PvP. And we want to grow that experience with Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns. We want to take that concept of you being inside of an RTS game. You're a troop, you're the commander, you're a scout. You're literally experiencing what it feels like to be inside of an RTS. We want to make that even better. And so, our next major feature for Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns is our brand new world versus world Borderland map that will be added to the Borderland rotation. The new Borderland is the most diverse world versus world map that we have ever built. It is one of the largest and deepest content experiences that you will find, period, in the game. Each keep has its own distinct theme, and holding the objectives around that keep provide abilities to the world that controls it. So defending and holding your objectives will become a much more important component of Guild Wars 2's world versus world experience. For example, you can see here, this is the Earth Keep. And if you control the shrines and locations near the Earth Keep, the Keep itself will literally raise up parts of the ground to defend itself when enemy armies assault. <laughs> if you control the Fire Keep, magma pools will come available for your entire army to leap into and traverse through the map more quickly as they can jump between lava pools. <laughs> now, holding these objectives, provides you with these abilities for your world. But we don't want to stop there and just give that concept to our new Borderland map. We want to fundamentally change the way that world versus world works so that when you battle so hard to take control of a major objective, if you fight for an hour to take Stone Mist Castle, keeping it should be important. Holding that objective should be a bigger part of victory in world versus world. So we're going to be making changes to the core world versus world experience so holding objectives is a bigger part of victory across the board in all components of world versus world. So Guild Wars 2 has a second major component of PvP, and that is our competitive PvP. This is small teams, typically five on five, highly organized, competing against one another to prove who are the best players and best teams in the world. And we've had a lot of recent success with our competitive PvP mode. We recently held our first ever World Tournament Series Championship live in Beijing. It was broadcast live on television in China and broadcast globally on Twitch for everyone to watch and enjoy. Despite the successes of competitive PvP, we feel like there's a lot of room for that to grow and become even more exciting. And so, we're going to be introducing to competitive PvP a brand new game mode called Stronghold. Now, Stronghold may sound a little familiar to some of you going back to the days of the original Guild Wars. It may sound a little bit like an evolution, maybe, of something that you once experienced. So what do you do in a Stronghold map? Well, you and your team fight for control of supply. You spend supply to hire troops. And you and the troops that you hire assault the enemy Stronghold. You destroy the gates to battle inside their Stronghold. You find their Guild Lord. You kill their guild lord to win. Along the way, you're going to find heroes that you can win onto your side that join you and join the assault on the enemy stronghold to help you win and destroy their guild lord. So we feel like 
if we're going to give you this experience, this next step in what people might remember uh, from the original Guild Wars, there's another component that needs to come along with this game mode to provide the entire experience. And that's the ability to know which guild is the best at PvP in the world. So when you battle in our brand new Stronghold game mode, you're going to be able to form guild teams. Guild teams are teams of players that represent a specific guild, and they register on a guild leaderboard. And as they battle against one another, the guild teams move up the leaderboard so you can once and for all prove who are the best guilds in the world. All right. So that's a component for guilds and PvP. But guilds make up such a core backbone of the entire Guild Wars 2 community. You know, when we talk about having the friendliest community in online gaming, a big component of that is because we have the friendliest guilds, the best guilds in online gaming that you'll ever find. And so we want to grow and add to that guild experience as part of Heart of Thorns. And that takes us to our final major feature of Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns. I think you've all been waiting a long time to hear this one. Guild Halls. So what is a guild hall in Guild Wars 2? It seems like you guys might like that one a little bit. Uh, a guild hall in Guild Wars 2 is much more than what it's been in the past. A guild hall is not just a home for your guild. It's a place for you and your friends to gather, to organize, to host events. It's a guild place for you to build and progress your guild and to build and progress your guild hall. As you build out your guild hall, you and your guild members will be able to go on great adventures. You can organize to prepare for your guild missions and to go into the jungle to face the incredible new challenges that await you. These guild halls provide you with a home base for you to build and grow your guild for years to come and a core hub for your social community. And so in total, our new region, the heart of Maguma, our new progression system, the mastery system. Our new specialization system, opening every profession up a new way to grow and progress their profession. Our new profession, the revenant. Our new world versus world borderland and fundamental changes to world versus world. Our new PvP game mode, stronghold. And guild teams so that you can compete and prove who are the best guilds in the world. And finally, guild halls make up a comprehensive package that is our reimagining of where Guild Wars 2 can go in the future. All of these features make up a core experience that provides a deep, compelling growth to the world of Guild Wars 2. It answers fundamental questions of where Guild Wars 2 can go in the future and builds back to the core philosophy that we set out when we started to build Guild Wars 2 long ago. That is, that the journey should be the goal, and each of these features complements that. We cannot wait to take that journey with all of you. I want to say a huge thank you to every single one of you for being here today, for being a part of this. Thank you again to everyone watching live on stream. I know you now have more questions, hundreds of questions that you would like to ask. And between now and the launch of the expansion, we're going to give you all the details to all the questions that you could ever want to know. <laughs> so Jennifer is going to come back out here in just a moment, and she's going to walk you guys back through where to go next to find out more about Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns. 
Thank you all again so much, and we'll see you in game. Right? Amazing. Amazing. Right? Let's hear it for Colin. Man, that was a lot of information. I think Mo and Colin deserve the loudest boomstick you've got. Well, that about does it for our presentation, everybody. Oh, but wait, there's always more. <laughs> if you want to relive anything you saw or heard today, point your browsers to heartofthorns.guildwars2.com. That badass trailer for Heart of Thorns is up there right now, as well as plenty of HOT goodies. <laughs> Also, we are big fans of the social media conversation. I mean, come on, we're trending on Reddit this morning. <laughs> so don't forget to hashtag GW2HOT so we can all stay in the loop. And thank you. Thank you so much for spending your morning with us, or if you're on the other side of the globe, your afternoon or evening. And for those of you who are interested in a photo op, I'll be available for pics in the Q Hall past registration until like noon. So thank you so much, and I'm going to give the steering wheel over to our shoutcasters currently standing by on the live stream. Now, but before I do, would you like to watch that trailer one more time? Yeah. Oh, come on! Yes! Here you are! Thank you so much! The journey of the hero is filled with trials. Trials of courage. Trials of loss. Trials of war each forging the hero in the fires of resolve, wisdom, and strength, propelling them into the unknown. This journey never ends. The hero's journey is to become legend.
Okay. Oh my god. Okay. I'm okay. We speechless. We just watch that trailer again, and like the hairs on my arms are just We're going. 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 Oh my god. Goosebumps are real. Yeah. Who who said engineer hammer? Yeah. Potentially. Yeah. He, he had little helicopters flying by him. He yeah. had like an engineer oh. outfit, and he was had a hammer in his hand. So. Fly, flying turrets. Yeah, he had little little flying yeah. helicopter oh, oh. things here. <laughs> flying turrets. I wow. Love, I love that the Revenant has the power of the mists, and it's so oh. appropriate that Ritlock comes back from the mists with oh, this yeah. new profession. I wonder How if Ritlock's going to be teaching, kind of teaching us the new profession through through the story. That's a good idea, actually. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't believe that. Like, I thought the specializations for every class was going to be. It. Yeah, and then yeah, it, and there was exactly. like a new class on top of that. Yeah. Then suddenly, it's going to be very complicated for you PvP one. guys. Oh, yeah, we, we, we've got, that's it, exactly. We're not even, we talk about a new class, and we've got new weapons for each class. Yeah, and, and the specialization. Yeah. yeah, and it's like the trait lines, and everything's going to change, and it's. That's crazy. <laughs> gliders? Yes. yes. Gliders! <laughs> gliders? I don't know. <laughs> that is really the main point I took away from this. The other stuff is fine, but gliders, gliders. flying. A, a vertical map, even more, it sounds even more yeah. than dry top. We, we, yeah. Dry top was our real uh, first introduction to a vertical map and, and how they can implement that. Right. And this just sounds like even more, like just massive climb to the top. I love that scene with that dragon rolling toward them and then they yeah. jump off yeah. and they're like, all right, they're gone. And then they fly up. Oh, no. Like, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's Stand a good review. I think we all went flying mounts, yeah. but not, not, not quite. But <laughs> not quite, but good enough. And you Definitely. can level Level it up yeah. through the new mastery system, yeah. and so you yeah. get better and better. You can ride the wind, which we kind of got a introduction to with the Zephyrites and using their skills. I want to do a yeah, barrel roll. Right. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> can you fly in PvP then? I guess. Oh, yeah. That's a good question. Oh. A good question. <laughs> yeah. End world be well. Maybe so in Stronghold, new game mode for yeah. PvP. Yes. Everyone has been asking for that for a while, and yeah. here it is, guys. Here it is. Kind of yeah. GVG style as well with the, like, oh, yeah. the guild GVG. leaderboards, yeah. team yeah. leaderboards. GVG. We've got so much stuff to look forward to. I know. I'm going to have to watch that trailer like 19 times. And yeah. Oh, yeah. Dissect it. <laughs> dissect every frame. Guild halls. Guild, guild halls. halls. What can yeah. you make in a guild hall? What can we make in a guild hall, do you think? Everything. Uh, everything. <laughs> <laughs> Dreams become true. <laughs> <laughs> we have a home. We don't have to say, okay, everybody meet in Lion's Arch. Uh, get into my instance. Uh, yeah. Now it's just, nope, yeah. let's meet in the guild hall. Yeah, people yeah. say that all the time. Like, where do we meet for guild where, missions? Where are we We're meeting? like, anywhere. Uh, Hole break, normally. <laughs> 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 Does anyone not meet there? Or maybe they don't. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, guild halls, we can go there. And, you know, uh, it's just exciting to think, it's, there's so much information, and it was quite a long presentation. Like, yeah. there's so much to take away from it. New legendaries. Oh, oh my And a new <laughs> way to get precursors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How... We, there, is, there is too much. Like almost, tears. we're sitting there and we're just thinking we, yeah. we are hyped as much as everyone at home. It was oh, my right. hands hurt from clapping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why they've got those things. That's thing, yeah, yeah <laughs> I, I, I should have used them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind but of regretting that myself. There are right now. so many requests everywhere on yes. the forums, and almost all have been answered. And e even though we've gotten a lot more information. There are a lot more questions now Lots as well. Of questions. Yeah. When is this going to come out? Is it an actual box? Uh, yeah. You know, there's so many yeah. questions. Uh, what, when it comes out, what, what are we going to do in the meantime? Mm -hmm. We already know that there's, a, there's an update next week, right. next Tuesday. So we know that they're going to give us stuff in between as well. Yeah. That's yeah. It. Oh, do I smell the Super Adventure Box? Super I, I, I adventure had box. to say it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had, had to, to say mention it. Super Adventure Box. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's, I'm so glad you got to say it, but the people yeah. they didn't see it. Uh, Everyone at home did. Yeah. <laughs> How many people did we have? What, we saw like 70 plus thousand? Yeah. Oh, it's my crazy. God. Is that like the one of the biggest? Yeah, yeah, the hype train was uh, on oh Reddit. Oh, man. Was it? Trending on Reddit. As well, Trending yeah. on Reddit. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Wow. It's intense. And I just. I, I know, just, and I just know. look forward to looking at the website over the course of the next few yeah. months. Like, we're like, yeah. Yeah. like we know the, the ranger can turn into a druid. That but is but so what are the other cool. ones What's called? The right. the yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, completely. Oh. I might really, for the first time, level the ranger. I thought the same thing. Like, <laughs> like, Until you never hear what the other classes have. <laughs> I like the him. idea of the staff with the, the oh, ranger yeah. gets yeah. a staff. It looked like, like you said, an uh, engineer gets a, a hammer. A hammer. Or and the necromancer gets the great sword. Yeah. Yeah. Necromancer gets All you great necros sword. out there, finally happy. Yes, it <laughs> was true. Yes. <laughs> got your great sword. I want to know what the legendary is, the new legendary. New legendaries. Yeah. 
Oh my God, so many awesome things, guys. Oh. Yeah. But we are going to be, at some point, we are going to be going to Matt Visual and Wooden yes, Potatoes please stay as tuned. well. Stay tuned. And they're yeah. going to be talking about everything from the trailer. They're going to analyze it, have Unpack a look it. through, probably exactly. give you tons more information because we're just sitting here witnessing it and we're just absolutely blown away by this experience <laughs> we've had. Mesmerized. And yeah. yeah, completely mesmerized. Oh yeah. God, what's the mesmer oh, going to have? No, I look like <laughs> oh, yeah. I have a mesmer skill. Yeah, yeah. 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 like something that pulled you in. Special, there's, to, to I don't know, there was the, a giant the, the purple circle. like ward yeah. or something on the on the floor. Oh my god! Yeah, what are they going to become? Shield? A shield? They'll become oh. magicians. Because magicians. if it would be two-handed weapons, you know, I mean, yeah. you could have a main hand, off hand as well as a set. Right. Okay, yeah, let's not go into that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll end up doing the. Push. By the way, <laughs> I, I have to say one thing. I want. I, I know the necro got the great sword, but I want a great sword on a thief. I want to be a samurai. Wow. Yeah, so you bad. mentioned that. No, so bad. bad. Yeah, there's no, nothing saying that you, you know, the great sword can't go to more than yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Well, yeah. The hope lives on. The hope. <laughs> the hope lives on. <laughs> You're in the Surin thief, though, so you know it's going to be quite big. Isn't yeah. It? yeah. And ninja. Oh, that's going to be epic. <laughs> absolutely epic. Yeah. I want a bow for my guardian. A bow. A bow. Oh. And you want the wings of Duena, don't you? Yes. Yes. I love that the revenant uses is going to be full of lore because they use the yeah, powers oh, of yeah. Guild Wars 1. one. Of, uh, uh, oh my god, that got me so excited. <laughs> well, as we're talking about speculation and we're talking about what's, what we think is going to happen, Matt Visual and also Wooden Potatoes are standing by to, to go for that now. So we're actually going to head over to them, guys. Thank you very much. Take care. Hard of Fawns. Yeah, Hard of Fawns.